Hello and welcome back to the channel, Ed Padgett here. Today I'm gonna to show you five ways to decompress your lower back. But before we do that, if you're interested in longevity and health span and stretches, scoliosis and reducing back pain, make sure you like this channel, subscribe to it and give me the thumbs up. These are my five go-to exercises that help decompress the lower back and they can give you quick and instant pain relief. They're also easy to do and can be done with minimal equipment from home. I'm going to start with something basic and then progress to the slightly harder ones and the more advanced ones later. So let's get started and decompress the lower back and reduce the pain right now. The first exercise we're going to do is very easy and you don't need a table to do it, you can do it on the floor, I'm just going to demonstrate up on the table. Some of you may have seen it before because it's something that's quite popular in yoga, it's called the child's pose. So you're simply going to get into an all fours position from here. You then you're going to lower your hips down and that action there actually starts to decompress the lower back. Now if you take your hands further out in front of you, and lower your hips down here, you'll start getting some traction and decompression in the lower and middle back. And from this position here, you can relax, allow your chest to sink down to the ground or to the table or whatever you're on, and then push your hips away from your hands. So I'm lengthening my hands away from my hips and my hips away from my hands, getting a decompression to my lower back. You can hold this for 30 seconds. If it feels good, you can go up to, up to 60 seconds or even two minutes. Now, if you find that one side of your back is slightly tighter than the other, you can actually pre-position yourself by side bending to one side. So I'm taking my right hand here across, and this is lengthening my right side more than my left side. And the same applies, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or even longer if it feels comfortable. And then to do the other side, I simply take my left hand across to the left, and here you can see I'm actually hooking on just a little bit, giving myself a bit more traction here. I'm pushing my butt this way, whilst pushing my hand this way. Okay, the second exercise is a kind of a downward dog type exercise, but we're going to do it using a table, or if you're at home, we're going to use a bed. So I'm simply going to Move the table so you can see a little bit more. Put a pillow under my hips. And from here, I'm going to lean forward and traction out my back. Okay, so this is more for the upper back here. You can see that my upper back's getting a little bit of a stretch. And then I'll show you how to do it for your lower back. To get the traction more into the lower back and the decompression of the lower back, you simply move your hips up towards the edge of the table or the bed. Now from here, I can allow my chest to sink down and get a really nice traction through my back. Or I can move to one side and work through one side of my body or move to the other side and work through the other side of my body. I can also put my elbows down and have a nice base of support here, take the pressure off my shoulders a little bit and really relax into that traction for the lower back. Again, 30 seconds, 60 seconds if it feels good and even longer if you are feeling really comfortable. So the third stretch is actually reverse of the stretch we've just done. We're gonna work on the lower back but from the other end. So here we're allowing my my legs to traction down on my spine. Here I'm going to hold onto the table and this could be a fantastic decompression for some people, just simply allowing the weight of the legs to decompress your spine. Or you can actually stretch your legs out if you want to. You can move them to one side to stretch one side of your lower back or you can move them to the other side to stretch the other side of your lower back. Now with your hands, you can see I'm holding on here, but if that's not possible, let's say you're doing this on the edge of your bed, you would simply reach forward, take your fingers as far forward as you can to get a stretch through your upper back into your lower back whilst your lower back is so benefiting from the decompression and traction that the weight of your legs gives. 30 seconds to a minute here works really nicely. 
This next exercise doesn't involve any equipment at all. It's a decompression traction exercise that you create in your own body. You're going to take your hands and you put them onto your legs. Okay? So your legs are going to be wider than shoulder width apart, but not you know, crazy wide. And then from here, you sink your butt downwards, keeping your back straight. So you're not tucking your pelvis, you're keeping your back straight. And this simple act of sinking downwards like this, whilst your shoulders are fixed, tractions your back. Now from here, if you have a scoliosis, for example, you can actually start to rotate, which will change the position of the rib humps. Even if you don't have scoliosis, this can be a fantastic exercise to get movement into your lower back from the top down. So you're holding this traction whilst putting in the movement from the top down. And you can do that for as many times as you want, 30 seconds to a minute, and if it feels great, you can go longer than that minute. The fifth and final exercise does involve a little bit of equipment. So I have a thick band here, and you can use a band or you can use a yoga sling, and I'm going to put the, um, the link for those uh, in the description below. This one is from TheraBand. And all you're going to do is link this over something in your house. If you've got a staircase or a door or something like that, you can actually hook it on to the top of the door or, or into the banister of the staircase. Then we're going to get into a downward dog position. So it looks like this. I've got a hook up here which I can link onto quite nicely. You're going to take the band around your hips. And from here, you're going to reach down into a downward dog position, trying to get a straight line between the, hello Donnie between the band, back, and shoulders. Now from here, you can move your hips, move pump with your legs, and just get a really nice stretch here. And if you're using one of the yoga slings, it won't have any give in it. It will be um, harder, which is great. Or you, you have one of these, and it just makes it a little bit easier for you to move your hips. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, whatever feels comfortable for you, moving forwards and backwards just to get that traction through the lumbar spine. I'm gonna wrap this video up now, and if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, but also click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend who you think will enjoy my content as well. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support makes a huge difference. Now also, you may know I help people recover from illness and injury using a combination of specific exercises and lifestyle medicine. But I also have a focus on scoliosis and back pain. So if you have scoliosis or back pain, I want to tell you about the amazing community I'm building over on Facebook. I'd like you to join our group, which is where all the action and interaction with me actually happens. Now, you can find the link to join that in the description below or in the pinned first comment. Just click that and you can join the group there. So stay tuned for my next video, which will be up soon.